Hi guys, welcome to the second video of this series of um, Cell Composer series. If you have not watched the first video of this series, I advise that you look at it where we talk about how you can clone Cell Composer and set it up. I also talked about like you know the the folder structure of Cell Composer, what what it comprises of, and all of that. So if you have not done so, I advise you to, to have a look at it. So on this particular video, what we we'll focused on is how we are going to create, write a smart contract, you know, and use Cello Composer to to do so, and then deploy deploy it on the Cello blockchain, which with our command running Yan Hadads, um, watch or Yan that deploy that would do for us very fast, and then we can very fast smart contract on the Cello blockchain. So for this purpose, we're making use of the open Zeppelin wizard to be able to like generate a quick smart contract. We're going to be doing like a token smart contract. So open your browser and go to, let me just close this so we can just, I like to kind of like, let's do this all afresh, I know. Just Google open Zeppelin contract so for those that don't want open zeppelin it's just to emphasize open zeppelin is an organization that provides um, smart contract developer with already like written libraries contracts you know that you can extend from <coughs> and the idea is the fact that uh, with a lot of smart contract being hacked and everything like that it's really it can be tough writing like a secured and safe smart contract so open zeppelin developers control those stress to to write like the reusable smart contracts that we can extend in several use cases and all of these have been verified you know um, they have been checked when i mean verified i mean uh, they have been scrutinized <laughs> they have security audit and all of that you can read about that like here and the advice for beginners would be even for pro it's always been an advice that it's better to like extend and reuse the smart contracts that that's already undergone like you know strong audits when you want to launch to life rather than trying to like you know write your own from scratch if you are able to uh, all right uh, but of course the case doesn't fit everywhere so i click on get started as you see here they have like all of these he has 20 he has 7 to 1 all of these things that you can read about and try out but what we need is like the wizard um let me see now this product yeah the wizard where is the wizard um, defender subgraph wizard contra wizard oh yeah that's it so yeah we want to like create a token smart contract let's call as community token so we call it cello community token cct and premiums premiums just means that for deploy of the smart contract do we want to premiums like tokens for that deployer this cct token yeah we want to do so 1000 token we know is bad um, we want uh, once it to be mintable it means not only mintable it means that we can which you would see we are able to like mint new token for other users yeah which should be really cool do you want to be bondable possible yeah let's say possible right bondable um do you want to be bondable um let's not go that far let's just make it mintable and possible uh, access control ownable yeah that's it we don't we're not interested in making upgradable smart contract in future we'll discuss all of this and all of this yeah so let me copy all of this copy it yeah we'll come to our cello composer tutorial you know that way earlier created we'll come to add ads come to contracts yeah click on new file so we call it cello com community talking does all is that right yeah so community talking so yeah yeah notice all of these imports that we're importing all of these mass contracts and um, you know extending them so we have to like install open zeppelin package using yarn so to do that let me see overview 
yeah let's just do this so yeah copy it now this is our root workspace we are not going to install it from there but we need to install that inside others so cd uh, uh, packages Packages, add that. Oh, yes. Okay. Yan add this. Let's wait for that to happen. So what is happening, you would see here, we have pause on pause, which we are calling like the on pause and pause from possible contract here. Yeah, these are like private and private internal, internal functions, right? On that contract. And then you see mint here, which again for mintable. Um, yeah. And right here we have this modifier that says only when I can pause and then only when I can unpause and only when I can mint. Yeah, let's just add another modifier that says that when not paused, it just means that when this contract is not paused, we can mint. When it's paused, we can mint. So let's let's check. Okay, this has not like synced. I wanted to like kind of right click and then it will take me to like the implementation. So the next thing you will do is come to deploy and come to this, this, yeah, deploy and then bring in, we need to be able to like write the deploy script to be able to like deploy um, a smart contract. So just duplicate one of these and say, what's the token name? The good thing about Adat, Adat does, you know, most of this work for us, you know, so it's cool. You just have to do a way deploy and do this. All of these things, you kind of like go through plotting and all of that. From deployer, what we call deployer is all of these deployments from deployer, get naming accounts. Um, let's see what this does. Get named accounts. I'm sure this get name account just pulls out our signer, which in our case, we only have like one signer, which is the private key that we had earlier. So, Brita storage, solo community token, deploy, and yeah, we added to this. Yeah. And come on. Next thing is we will run this command, which is our command. Remember, our private key, yarn adats deploy. Earlier, I know we did yarn adats like watch, but this one's kind of like deploy first. I could run watch it to the same thing, but when you deploy, uh, what's it saying? Let's see. Why is it not deploying? Did I get it wrong? Packet of JSON. Uh, so it's just yarn deploy. Yeah, Christ, what's that? Deploy rest and watch. Hmm. Yeah. If I run yarn deploy, it would not have my. Oh, yeah, I know why this is not working. That's because. I am um, in here. Let me check this again. From our package of JSON, this is here. From roots, yeah, this is where I needed to come. So now I'm not in the folder. And, um, if I print working directory, I'm right here. So I need to be here. Yeah, and if you see me doing this, this is just take, this just returns me back to the last that I was in all right if I do this again it turns me back to our ads and you know, yeah yeah just some fancy it's a fancy Linux command so here this is where I run this from yep deploy yeah this is what we're looking for and yeah that's it so let's see if this would deploy our smart contract oh no it's not deploying what's wrong it says pragma import directive definition SPS uh, so it's complete about pragma. Let's see what's what's the oh yeah. See, this is wrong. I'll run that again. Now, if I use 
yeah, no, that's watch while I was writing this to have, you know, complain about that thing. So yeah, it works now. Yeah. So it's, it says you're using all of these guys, you already deployed them and it sees no changes because there are no changes here, right? In, the, in this format smart contracts, you don't really deploy them. But if there's a slight change, it's going to be deployed. All right, so deploying community seller token transaction. Ash, I'll put that here. Although, yeah, this is here already, 22 seconds, 23 seconds. Yeah, that's it, but just to kind of, yeah, if I click on this same hash as this hash here, Yeah, here's it. Now smart contract is up and running. Now if you look at this, this is the um, minting that happened in our constructor. See, minted 1000 token for message of sender, which is, ooh, again, my address, my wallet. So here, if you see, look, look how fun this is. You don't see the token, right? Now what you just have to do for me is, this is the contract address of the token. You click here, yeah, copy it, you come to your MetaMask. Click on import token. Of course, from testnet, yeah, cut it, CCT, 18 decimal, and yeah, that's it. We are 1,000 CCT rich. <laughs> import token, and that's it, right? Now, let us get back to our UI, which is Cellustar. All right, let's refresh our UI. Let's see what happens from our UI. Um, is this not running? This should be running in the terminal. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's running, it's just slowing down for some reason. Yeah, yeah, you see, this is it. Cello community talking. I uh, loaded it. Oh yeah, wow, yeah, that's it. You see, they have allowance, balance of decimal. These are all like view methods. View methods are just reading the smart contracts. They are not like, you know, making, you are not costing, I would say, they're not, they're not costing us gas. They're not costing us any cello. Yeah, let's just see balance of, let's see balance of who, our address. Actually 1,000, right, that we pre-minted. So you see, cool, we can just interact with our smart contract right here, you know without writing any single line of code for the UI. See, we can just, yeah, see, this is it. We toss this back in. Um, we divided by one exponential 18, 1000, yeah. Now one exponential 18, that's like the decimal that is talking as, see, call. Yeah, see, 18 decimal places. Yeah, that's it, really cool. You know, name, what's the name of our token? Yeah, Cello community token, who is the owner? Yeah, I'm the owner. And then um, you would see that. Let's see. Let's 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 turn, let's do something. Let us. Um, is it post right? Hmm. The boolean is not returning. Let's let's do something fun. Let us um, let us let me check our console because that's another thing we kind of like you know. Yeah, console in the log things here. So mm, let me make this come down like this. Yeah, minimize this, minimize this, minimize this. Now in this case, what I would do is I would mint a new token for, now the only person I can mint a new token is like the owner, like that described. I would mint a new token and see if the new address gets the new token has been minted. And I would pause the smart contract and try to mint the token and see if it works. So first come to this again. Yeah, what I want to say is let's create a new create account, account two. Go ahead. Yeah, so copy this, go back to my account one. Make sure you go back and see this is connected to this. And see this is not connected. It will ask you to connect, do not connect. Still on account one, this way. And let's say two, the address, amounts, I want to mean to also 1,000 token. So click on transact. Yeah. Click 
come on, come on. We are. We are, yeah. Uh, this is why cost us to perform a transaction. Very cheap gas fee. That's one thing you love about Celo. Uh, this is changing really fast. Um, what's the argument? Let them ask. For some reason, my let them ask is. Oh, is my. Yeah, confirm. Yeah. Good thing I only clicked it once. I didn't, I didn't click it twice. My PC seems to be a little bit sluggish tonight. So, yeah, the transaction is happening. Let's see if we come here. Yeah, we have been looking at all of this. And we. Let's see. Contracts. Let's see. Let's see. Contract call, yeah, means this is done. So now let's come here and forgive, for, forgive this sluggishness. Account one has 1,000, account two. We have to like import this address, which is, um, how do we do that again? This is, I guess this is the address of the smart contracts. Import token. Yes, this is the. Oh, yeah. So this is the thing, right? The value that I passed to the mint was in we and not in uh in an eta. So that's why like zero point zero 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 one. So let me let me fix that right now, and the way I can fix that is, um, let me like remint. Yeah, and now what I want to do is 1,000. So just go, go, I like to use this. We to ETA calculator. Yeah, I could just use a little bit of that, but then I kind of like to use this because it gives a visual representation. So we, what I want to say is like 1,000. So in we, it is this, so I just copy. Uh, okay, so yeah, so I paste here now. <laughs> let's let's remix this. Common MetaMask. Okay. Confirm. is really making a weird sound of my processor because all right come on so it's <laughs> yeah that's done now oh yeah transaction processed viewing explorer I'm not viewing so you'd see like it's logging the event here you see like emitted from address you like null address to our address and now if I come to click here to check for account two no oh yeah now this is it we have 1000.0001 that we had like Minted. and if I copy this address, you know, this guy's address, go back to my account one and say, where is balance of this guy and call. Yeah, it says, oh, with that one year, that one year that we had earlier, it is there. So um, now the next thing that I want us to try out uh, before we move on to the next thing is, let us go ahead to, so there's all of these things that you can perform. You can go ahead and try all of these things out. 
let us keep this short now let us pause the smart contract so this call no 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 not pause not post i'm saying pause yeah this is non payable pause So yeah, confirm. So all we're doing is passing the smart contract. So we said like once we pass the smart contract, should not be able to mint more tokens. So let's see. See, why why I love seller composer now is the fact that you are very smart contracts, you can start interacting with it. You know, we've not we didn't have to write our tests. Usually what a, what a developer would do, like a developer would do is write a smart contracts, write your test cases to see everything works. But like instantly you can just simply go ahead and start thinking with your smart contract. <clears throat> just seller composer are really good for 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 startup developers that are trying to build dApps on seller blockchain all right transaction is done so now it has been paused yeah you see this is not returning for some reason it's not returning this has to be looked into it's not returning um boolean value so it's gonna be true of us so Anyway, now next, if I try to mint again for this guy, click on transaction. Yeah, it failed. It failed simply because message internal JCJC execution reverted, possible post. All right, that's just it. Because remember in our code, we have like when no post, you can do, but we post it so no minting can happen, right? But again, if we really go ahead, we want this to happen, we just need to go ahead and click on, you know, on pause right here. Yeah, I promise this is <coughs> this is last this is last MetaMask transaction that we are doing because this is taking a lot of time because my system is slow. Yeah, so here click on Yeah, so we got it confirmed. Clicked on it already. Don't want to double click so it doesn't like, you know, hang the old thing. Now we're so painful. To, yeah. Oh, awesome. Let's see. Let me just clear this. So. Oh, yeah. Transaction has been mined. Yeah, successful. So now, if we try to mint again, which I don't want to do now, it will mint. So, other things I want you to kind of like try out is you can, you know, transfer. You can use this transfer to transfer your token and like transfer like part of my token to another person. I can transfer from another address it means if i want to transfer from my council for example my council needs to approve me to do that i can transfer ownership and do all of this stuff so it's really fun you know using so and see these are all the logs you can go through that if you have you have to do this yourself you have to like you know write test like i said uh, log your events yourself check this out and all these things but you have all that you need here so it really really makes sense set, set a composer rocks now the next thing we are going to do, which is going to be the last thing, is we are going to verify our smart contract on the set of blockchain. So if you see here, um, the smart contract is deployed here, which is 0 to 2, which is what we are looking at here. But if you come to code, you can't view the code. Yeah, it's just, you know, deployed by its code, that's all. <clears throat> so now to achieve that, what we would do is, first we need to create, we need to go to celloexpert.org. And we need to get like a developer token. So let's just do that. Cello um, Explorer. So come here, Cello Explorer, the hog. Um, what am I doing here? 
Is it Seto Explorer? Mm. Let me see. I'm trying to figure out how to be Seto Explorer or not. Um, let's see. I know it is Explorer the Seto the Hog. No, this is not it. Let me check. Celos Khan, yeah. <laughs> that is it. Celos Khan. I'm, I'm always confused about Celos Explorer, Celos Khan. You know, <laughs> they have all Celos Explorer anyway. So here, yeah, I don't have an account yet. Um, that should be the case because I try to make everything like with refresh. Um, so I'll just click here to <coughs> sign up right now so my username um, let's see Luwa Femi Alofe <coughs> my email address Luwa Femi Alofe Femi Alofe it's proto fire mayo okay happy now <laughs> this is not strong so I hope it's happy now. This is strong. So create an account. Let me go to my email. Yeah, let's just <coughs> let us save this. So Team Sellers can click on this. Oh yeah. Let's let's confirm this. Yeah, congratulations. Click to login. Yeah. Auto remember. Remember me and log me in. I'm not a robot. <laughs> now log me in. So come to API keys right here. And let's call it um cello composer tutorial. <laughs> let's just be tutorial. Yeah, we'll leave our booze as much as possible. So now we we have our API token generated. Um, next thing is let's just let's go to Adat's documentation because Adat doesn't like support verifying like solo like that out of the box so you have to like configure it a bit differently so I'll just click on here I can just documentation I like to just search it works every time search is really efficient Verify smart contract monitor scan. Yeah, this is this is the plugin that does that. So first thing we want to do is we need, we need to install this, you know. So dependency, so let's come again, let's come here. Let's click on this and create create a new terminal. Because I keep using the word click on this, that can be confusing. C D other uh, no packages uh, that's then yeah not yeah it's it's a development dependency we use in production so and all that is going on let me go to add uh, that's config.js at the top I need to require this guy. Yeah, I need to copy this guy and put it there. Yeah, that's it to scan. Let's wait for that to, to run through.
Yeah, done. So now we can include this. And what's next? Task verify. So right here inside of that, so config com and add the task chairs. Right here. Uh, okay. Save task chairs. It is can. Uh, so now let's copy our API key right here. Bring it here and here. Right here. What's next? What's next? What's next? Now we are supposed to run this command, which is MPS add verify of zeros, these, and then like the constructor arguments. Which, let's see, do we have a constructor argument? Oh no, we don't have a construct argument. If we had a construct argument, we would have passed it. So we were just supposed to like run is just do this. But we don't have a construct argument, so we remove this deploy control address. In our own case, is our address and our smart contract address will be this. Um, please, where is where are you? Will be this guy basically. All right. Yeah, five one eight one. Yeah, I'm correct. But we can't go ahead with that now. We need to do much, like a bit more configuration. If we're to be like you know Ethereum, it works out of your box. But we have to do more configuration for for Celo. So now, what we just have to do right now is we need to add the API key that we have right here that we added has to be. We need to add more configuration, which is like a task can API key. It has to go like this. Yep. Alpha Jures. Yes. And claim, claim. This is not needed. Yes. And then inside we need to have like custom network like this. Yeah, so again, Alpha Jurus, let's see, we already have this written here, so um, URL mm, for this URL, API URL, browser URL. Let's see. I have this written somewhere. I don't have this offhand, but I have this written somewhere, which should be. Let me check. It's a normal project. We can easily just copy this. Um, I did this inside. Let's see. I used the project recently that has all of this. Not solo compose and all this. I could have done open recent. I'm sure it's winning on recent um, stuff. Yeah, pk 5 window. Mm. Smart contracts. Can I drop this here? Thank you. I drop it here. Cancel. Uh, so, yeah, for this, it has like it has can custom like this, like this. Oh, just move this in. No one's like, go ahead, can start typing all of this. So, mm -hmm. oh, did I copy that? That would be custom chains, yeah. Start in. Custom chains right here. Network of Jeros, yeah. All of these are set. Now, this should work. Hopefully, it should work. Add a MPS, add a verify network of Jeros. Um, before I run this, let me just let me just try this, which I would just like to show you. Um, to confirm that we have all of this, we can just do NPS alert verify list network. So let's see, NPX alert, NPS alert verify. Least networks 
No, what did I do? There's one Mario. Oh, every time I just have to do this. Really? Really? I have to do this every time? Let me just put this here on community stones. I have to do this every time, which is like really, really nasty. And private key. Yeah, that's it. See, it listed like this is like out of the box, I don't support all of this that you see right here. But to add cello, you just have to like do this. I, I know a PR is ongoing, you know, to just make cello also out of the box, but before then, this is just how, how you have to like do that to verify. So now it supports our Fujerism cello. So, good thing is, I would clean all of this off. Right here, and let's run this. Please add that artifact build info. No such file. Why am I getting this? Okay, so that's artifact build info. Do I have to clear the catch or something? Strange one. Let me just see why. I should just make it work, but oh, yeah. Verification have started. Yep, 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 yep. So this takes some time to be honest. It would take I don't know one, two, or three minutes. But that's basically all of these about this tutorial. I'm happy you've been able to like get through and see through this. Once the verifiers and smart contracts, you can always check it out. Check this out on your own. It's gonna verify you can oh yeah, wow, that was fast. <laughs> that was really fast, to be honest. I was so fast and anticipated, so um, yeah, this is it. <laughs> wow, I feel, feel proud of ourselves right now. So, see, yeah, this is our contract. It's here. You can read it. That's the code. We can read it. We can write, you know, you can call it right here. Let's see. Balance of this is 18. Balance of who? Let's see. Balance of this guy. I mean, the last time I deployed, it took verified, took longer. I am beginning to imagine how because smart contract was like you know a more complicated one for the live deployment. So, oh yeah, see, this is it. So, congratulations, well done, be able to write your smart contract, deploy, build, and verify on the solo blockchain. Drop your comments. Let me know what you feel like. Good luck on your journey using solo composer on the solo blockchain.